Hello YouTube family, welcome back to the channel with the Super Bowl coming up on us real fast. Everyone is probably going to start scrambling for party food. Well, Dawn and I stumbled across this recipe that we want to share with you guys. So we're going to try it out and have you guys come along with us. I'm Jerry. And I'm Dawn. And we're living, living the, the Newcomb, Newcomb life. life. So today's recipe is going to be pizza bombs made in the air fryer. And it's a very simple recipe, very easy, but who doesn't love pizza? So we're going to um, try this recipe out today. I have a feeling we're going to love it and it's gonna become a staple in our home. So I have taken um, a little bit of butter and I have melted it down so it's completely melted in the microwave. I'm going to add some garlic, if I can get it open. And this is just um, jarred garlic. You can um, use a clove of garlic if that's what you choose to do. You could also use powdered garlic if that's what you choose. Um, I say use what's in your house. So whatever you've got, use it. I'm gonna put some in here. We love garlic, so I'm putting in probably about um, half a tablespoon, maybe three quarters of a tablespoon, and I'm gonna stir it up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley to this. Not too much, just just a little bit. Um, probably about half a teaspoon. Um, but again, that's your preference, whatever you'd like to do. And we are going to set this aside and let all of those flavors meld together. And these are just Grand's uh, Southern Home Style Biscuits. And this particular um, can of biscuits actually says air fryer ready on them. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it, actually says that and I did ask Jerry when he picked these up did they have biscuits that did not have that on it and he said that they did so make sure that you look for the Grand's biscuits that have that little air fryer ready symbol on them I don't know what the difference is to be quite honest with you I have no idea and I absolutely hate opening these cans so oh. okay scared me and the dogs <laughs> Okay, so there are eight biscuits in each can. We're actually gonna do a double batch. Um, so what you wanna do is take your biscuit and you want to flatten them out as flat as you can get them. So that you can fit all of your toppings inside. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this butter mixture. And I'm just going to put it on here, but try to keep the edges from getting butter on them because then they might not stick together. So I've taken my pepperoni and I have cut it into quarters just because when you when you wrap the sides around, it'll make it close up easily, more easily. So we're gonna put some pepperoni on here. You could put any topping that you want in this, which is awesome. So if you want mushrooms and onions and green peppers in here, you could do that too. So I have cut up some uh, mozzarella sticks, the uh, string cheese that everybody loves, and we're gonna put that inside here. We're gonna do this two ways. We've seen it done both ways. One way is without the sauce being on the inside, and then after they're cooked, you dip it in the sauce. And then we're also gonna do some with the sauce inside. So, and we'll see which way we like best. So then we're going to take the dough and wrap it up around all of our toppings and kind of give it a little pinch. And then we're gonna flip it over and that is your pizza bomb. 
So we're going to prepare the rest of these. And we're so one trick that we have found or one thing that tip that we have come across is don't put too much sauce inside the inside the biscuit because then you will have problems sealing the the biscuit together um so basically i am just putting not even a teaspoon of sauce it's more like maybe half a teaspoon of sauce inside um or on the biscuit um, then add your um, pepperoni and your cheese and then you should be able to get everything together without your sauce dripping out. So definitely do not put too much sauce inside. You can see how I, I basically brought the four sides together and then the opposite four sides together to make almost like a little dumpling. And then when you look at this side, you can see it's a perfectly round little dumpling. So we have finished um, making our little uh, pizza bombs. We have half of them with no sauce and half of them with sauce. And we are now ready to put them on our air fryer um, basket to go into our air fryer. Um, if you have one with a um, it's almost like a cup that slides in. That will work as well. Just put as many as you can in there. We happen to have a Ninja Foodie, which is this large. So we will be able to fit all of these onto one in the basket. So now we're gonna take the remainder of our butter mixture and, and it's butter and garlic and parsley that's in here. And I suppose you could put anything else that you like. If you like it spicy, you could add some cayenne pepper in there if you wanted. And we're going to butter the tops of all of these um, little pizza bombs. We're going to put our pizza bombs in there. We're going to air fry these. So we're going to set our air fryer on air fry at 350 degrees for nine minutes and then we're going to press start. Look at how delicious they look. Okay, so we took our, after they cooked for um, nine minutes, we took our pizza bombs out of the oven. We actually sat them here to cool a little bit because I figured, you know, it's pizza. If you bite into that, it's gonna burn your mouth. <laughs> so they've, these have cooled for about five minutes or so. And so this, this one here will have pizza sauce in it. And this one here will not. And we'll see which one we like better. All right, so let's see how this does when we pull it apart like that. So you guys can see what that looks like. All right. Wow. Mm, that's good. That is really good. Mm. So, so what we're doing is we have some pizza sauce here and we're just dunking it in there. Mm, that's good. <laughs> I would think that the the biscuit bread would be a little stiff, 
but it's not at all. No, it's I mean, kind of flaky. I like yeah. it. It's got like a, a flaky outer coating on it, it's which not is nice. Tough like pizza crust. Mm -mm. It's like the bottom portion of the pizza. Kind of, yeah. It, like softer like that. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. You can cut this one? Mm hmm. Ooh, we lost some pepperonis. Mm. That is super good. Is it better with the pizza sauce in it? I don't know. I think I think I like them both. It's not a hmm. it's not a lot of sauce. Mm -mm. You almost can't even tell the sauce is in there, really. Yeah. Not really. So in my in my opinion, it was easier to make them without the sauce on the inside. So long as you're going to have sauce to dip it in. Right. I think I would go. And, no pizza sauce inside. Yeah, right. And dip mm -hmm. on the outside. Because then, you, of course, you can dip however much sauce that you want. Like, I'm not a, a big sauce fan where Jerry likes like a, a lot, lot of, of sauce. sauce. Definitely make that again. All right, guys. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps our channel grow. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're up to date on all of our upcoming videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.